Hi, Saggy. Welcome back, guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Sagittarius placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the rose, take what resonates, and leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your supports, and your donations. I'm sending you a lot of peace and happiness, joy, and love on your journey. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platforms. So let's see, Saggy. Let's see what's going on here. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. Please protect me as I channel these messages here for my Saggy Collective. 11, 11 on the clock, guys. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Saggies. So let's see, Saggies, here he is. Let's see what's going on here. So we have high vibing in reverse. It says good vibes, living to the fullest, enjoying the present. Okay, somebody's in low vibrational energy. The struggle, it says trying, I says rough patch, frustrating situation, trying times. Hmm. <laughs> Power couple. Ambitious partnership, making boss boss moves, building up relationship. And then we have Fuego. Chemistry, intense passion, things are heating up. Okay. So it looks like Sagittarius, you're getting ready to be with your person, with power couple here. I'm definitely getting that's somebody you're destined to be with. Okay. And things are heating up between you and this person or the chemistry is just, I don't know, something is growing stronger here between you and somebody. Yeah. Look, it's because they're spiritually woke. I was... Trying to see what that was. It says spiritually woke here. So somebody's awakening 202 on the timer. Okay. You could be seeing those numbers. Definitely look that up in reference to twin flames I just heard. So this could be a twin flame journey for some of you. It doesn't have to be. But just look that number up just in case. For those of you that are on twin flame relation, uh, twin flame journeys, type in a 202 angel number meaning twin flames. Or you can put in... Because I see 0202 sometimes as well. So you could put 0202 twin flame meaning. You and somebody could be marrying each other right now. But um, yeah. Or if you're not on a twin flame union, just look it up in reference to a relationships. Soulmate connections if you don't have a twin. So let's see. What's, uh, what's high vibing here in reverse? Karma is striking. Yeah, five of wands. <laughs> What's high vibing in reverse? The moon, the knight of wands, and the lovers. Hmm. Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, Gemini. Okay, so what I got, what I just heard, somebody's just low on energy. They're low on supply. Okay, and they could could have been gotten this. I said gotten this. I can't talk. <laughs> they could have uh, gotten this here. Three, two, three on the timer. There could be a twin flame union coming through. That's exactly what that number means. And within two weeks for some of you. <laughs> but anyways, um, somebody here is low on supply. Whatever they were doing. Yeah, I'm getting Virgo's reading. Go watch Virgo's reading, man. Something about occult and, and powerful occultists and all this shit here. But whatever somebody was doing here to gain or to keep someone stuck it's not working anymore somebody here's a cheater too they're in and out they're back and forth and i feel like if somebody has been doing some sort of magic okay i'm just saying how i feel it here they could have been doing some sort of sex magic or somebody here's just narcissistic they need a lot of supply but the supply that they were getting from you is meant to be shared with somebody else with power couple Okay, you're meant to share your sexual energy with somebody that you resonate with or that's on your vibration. And some of y'all are really high vibing. Okay, you have a high vibration. So, you know, and then especially if you're twins or whatever the case may be. So, I mean, there's been some uh, cheating and shit going on or running around thinking that they can run towards you and then go back towards somebody else. And da 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 da. What I got for Virgo is that somebody here did some sort of. Uh, spell work they were doing magic here having sex with you or whatever and then going back to somebody else to do to keep this ritual or this magic going whatever this is it's through sex through your sacral energy okay possibly so i don't know but that's what it looked like though 
I don't know. Somebody here could just be sleeping with too many fucking people. Wow. <laughs> the Emperor. Five of five on a timer. The Emperor and the Empress. Exactly. So, like I said, twins. Balance being restored. Mm. <laughs> What's the moon? Yeah, the death card. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. What's the moon with the death card? Scorpio? Yeah, four of cups. Yeah, they being rejected. Somebody is being rejected. They scared as hell. Because they know karma is getting ready to strike. Whoever this is that's being deceptive or lying or... um, They can feel it coming too, whatever this is right here. Somebody here could be sick. Who I got the sickness for? Aquarius? Somebody could have an STD from having multiple sex partners. Or whatever the fuck. I feel like somebody got out of something just in time. Yeah. Cancer moon. Child, yeah, the tower. Mm -mm. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Um, Saggy. Yeah. Somebody here is scared to death, honey, because they know something is over. So, yeah, the Ten of Swords. It's because of whatever they did. This curse, this hex, whatever they did is going back. They know it. This is go it's going back. And this person here, for some of you, somebody here could be passing away. Okay, like death is really near for somebody. The Grim Reaper is coming to collect, child. Whatever they try to do a sacrifice with you is definitely going back. Yeah, for all for fame. All for fame and fortune and prosperity or whatever this is the magician with the seven of cups the nine of cups <laughs> somebody did some strong like magic okay and now it's backfiring what's the lovers this is some sort of rit ritualistic too rit blah, blah, blah. <laughs> ritualistic shit too it's go watch virgo's reading okay you can get some messages from there but what's the lovers somebody yeah, look, three of pentacles in reverse. Their little plan, it didn't fucking work. It didn't work here. It definitely did not work. Page of cups, two of swords, seven of swords. Mm. Somebody fed off someone's gullibility or their naivety. Somebody here is, somebody was trying to block someone's psyche too. Ciao. What's the lovers here with the three of pentacles in reverse? Yep, look, ten of swords, I'm telling you. Excuse me. A big betrayal here to a union or a soulmate connection that could be trying to come in for you. Big betrayal, big ass curse, hex. Something is now balanced though with the, the lovers upright. Something is balanced. You could have major decisions in love here or that's what somebody was doing, sending you false lovers and things like that to keep you off balance. Okay, yeah. That's over. Gemini energy with the um Ten of Swords, Capricorn Mars here. Yeah, this little plan it failed. Something is over. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. What's the Knight of Wands? What's the Knight of Wands for? Mm-hmm. Ten of Cubs. What's the Knight of Wands, Ten of Cubs? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. These are people that got whole family somewhere, honey. Could be another Virgo. I mean, damn. Yeah, go watch Virgo, child. You can have Virgo in your chart, Sagittarius. But yeah, Knight of Pentacles in reverse here. Somebody is very superficial, just materialistic and weak as fuck. They're weak. They're irresponsible. <laughs> mm. Somebody got a Pisces, Mars. What's this Ten of Cups here with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, Three of Swords in reverse. Two of Wands, Knight of Cups, Four of Swords. What's the Three of Swords in reverse spirit? Libra, Saturn. The Wheel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, 
somebody here is just mad because your ten of cups is somewhere else it's not with them so there's somebody here from the past okay you're an ex or something like that for some of you you guys be seeing three 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 between maybe you and your person y'all both got exes that are like this they operate out of this very lustful nasty dark energy because they're energy vampires and they probably sit around and do spell work too but the three of swords in reverse i feel like somebody here is holding on to some sort of grudge okay and this is why they act the way that they act they hold on to some sort of grudge they wanted to have sex with you and keep having sex with somebody else that they try to make you jealous about like somebody ex doesn't want you to be happy but they want you but they want to go off and do whatever the fuck they want to do. It's their low on supply. And then if they were working in some sort of um, cult or coven to cause to stop you from um, going into a connection that's meant for you, it's even worse. That's the whole point of them doing that was to um, keep you stuck. I feel like somebody's holding on to like pain or grudges here between you and them because they see you as the one that they want to have a family with but they don't they're not doing the work somebody's not learning from their past mistakes they just they need supply that's what this that's all that this is about this person is a narcissist they're going to keep cheating and doing whatever the fuck they want to do so things are changing the will is here with the will of fortune yeah knight of wands so i'm getting that that could be just you said that is you sagittarius with the um knight of wands that's freedom that's you being fearless okay going after things that you're passionate about um and you're very free-spirited whatever your desire whatever you desire you're going after it but that could also be um this is person they out looking for like more supply because nothing is working with whatever they're doing They're a cheater. And whoever they with that, that they try to make you jealous about, I feel like that shit is over. I don't know, but oh well. What's what's the uh <laughs> there's like a faded connection that's coming in with the the um uh, Ten of Cups upright. There could be a reconciliation here too uh with you and somebody um sagittarius but this person is working a lot with the knight of pentacles in reverse they could be a workaholic they're working hard to come towards you but i feel like this is these this is this karmic energy over here yeah they scared as hell about what's about to happen what's the struggle <laughs> yeah somebody here could be going through a child yeah seven of pentacles towards saturn what's the struggle with the seven of pentacles yeah, and the Eight of Cups. <laughs> hmm. So this is like being at a crossroads here with the Seven of Pentacles. Maybe you're trying to decide if you should walk away from something. I feel like somebody is after being at a crossroads. Um, This could talk about just needing time to yourself right now because you could feel, I'm going to clarify and see. But you could feel like something is taking a while. Like maybe you need patience for something. You're trying to see if you should walk away from something. You're let's see, what's the seven of pentacles? This could be too. You're getting ready to receive rewards for all your hard work. Yeah, the hermit. Exactly. Yeah, solitude. Virgo. What's the seven of pentacles with the hermit? Yeah, okay, the emperor. So this divine masculine, whether it be you or another person in your energy, man or woman, is um doing the inner work here somebody has done some like soul searching or something like that and is ghosting a situation leaving something behind in order for them to gain some sort of peace and solitude with the eight of cups okay this is um yeah so maybe that's not them being at a crossroads this is more so of them doing the shadow work that they need to do in order to come up out of this shit okay whatever this mess is or they are at a crossroads here because they could be trying to go within to figure out what to do as far as getting you back. Okay, if they have dealt with whatever this third party situation is. Some of you guys, it's the same for you too. Okay, so that could be something to consider between you and this person. Because, I mean, you've been through the same thing they've been through. So there should be a level of compassion and understanding. Okay, so I don't know. That's, that's for some of you now. Don't beat me up in the comments. But I just feel like some shit is worth fixing. It just depends on what it is. Especially if it's God ordained. Okay, those of you that have twins and you understand. If you don't, then don't worry about it. This ain't for you. But what's the Eight of Cups? Yeah, look. Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands in reverse. You guys could be seeing 888. Somebody could be having problems with their money, their finances. But what's the Eight of Cups here with the Eight of Wands in reverse? 
the Five of Swords, Temperance, and the Queen of Wands. Aquarius, Venus here, Sagittarius, Mercury, Pisces, Saturn. So I feel like what somebody has done, they defeated some sort of energy. Somebody is surrendering something and walking away, or this is what you did. Yeah, you just surrender something and walked away here, even though there's unfinished business. Somebody here missed an opportunity with you, so they are trying to, I feel, I feel like, go within to see how they can fix this. They like they don't know what to do or something, kind of. <laughs> so they, they probably could be trying to listen to their inner voice right now to see what they got to do. Yeah, see? Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the King of Cups. And the Six of Cups and the Tower. I feel like this is what they're, they're they have some sort of plan here. <laughs> I feel like now the, the roles have flipped. You could be the runner. Okay, in this situation, they're getting ready to chase you because um, that's just how it is. You were the chaser at first, but you had to walk away and surrender something. The surrender this connection, yeah, Two of Cups. There's love here, and it's true. Ace of Swords with the Two of Cups. That's what I'm saying. Something is genuine. I feel like when the Two of Cups comes out, depending on the other cards surrounding it, this is somebody that you already love dearly. Somebody's having some sort of awakening around the fact that you're their person and they're yours. So they're watching you. They're trying to figure out what to do. What's the Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands in reverse, Spirit? This is like... What's the Eight of Wands in reverse? Definitely unfinished business. Somebody here. Things have slowed down between you two. Like, what's the Eight of Wands in reverse? Two of Pentacles. What's the Eight of Wands in reverse? Yeah, because this person was juggling. Okay, or, or something. What's the Eight of Wands in reverse? Or um, something going on with their money, their finances. Yeah, this person, somebody was not emotionally available. They weren't emotionally available. Mm. For some of you, because this King of Cups came out in reverse for who? Virgo, I think. Somebody was being bullied or abused or attacked here. This person here could have been moody, depressed. Like one minute they were hot, they were cold, like... Somebody here was not in their right state of mind. What's this King of Cups in reverse spirit? I'm also getting... Could be a Scorpio. Yeah, their finances was messed up. King of Pentacles in reverse. What's the King of Cups in reverse? King of Pentacles in reverse. With the Eight of Wands in reverse. Mm. Ooh, for some of you, this is not them. This is yeah the star reverse i feel like this was your con uh, your masculine in the past okay now that they've, they've completed a, a task or done the work here to become your emperor they're trying to figure out how to get you back because this was them in the past this person was just very bored with life very um you know not doing the healing work or something like that something that they didn't heal within themselves so they were really in a pessimistic energy they just were not in their north node even though y'all have unfinished business, you do. They missed an opportunity with you. So now they're trying to figure out how to come back. It's not really a missed opportunity if this is your divine masculine. Just period. There's If you're a real twin, you know what I mean. If you're not, then don't even worry about it. It ain't going to make sense to you. It's not supposed to. But I'm saying, like, yeah. They're like, damn, well, what the fuck? They're like, I don't know what to do. What's, uh, what's the five of swords? I'm also getting, though... Yeah, the temperance. Yeah, time, patience, healing. This is divine protection, too. Somebody came out of something victoriously. So if, if this is you, divine feminine, if you've been waiting for your divine masculine to come out of hermit boat and, and actually do the healing work, I feel like they're coming. But you could be struggling with this because you don't think that it's true. You've kind of like given up on the situation and walked away. But it's not over. This is really not over. Something here. This person has done something here to break free of whatever this mess was. Okay, that they were in. And whoever this is, this third party that was trying to stop you from finding your 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 one true love or, you know, your divine feminine, divine masculine, this person is losing it. Somebody is low on energy supply, bro. Like, whoever this karmic masculine for some of you is that's been trying to battle you spiritually or whatever, I feel like they are losing 
now okay and they've, they've been losing just slowly but i feel like now things are speeding up because your masculine has awakened somebody is reassessing reevaluating reviewing things they're taking time to look at everything that they've been going through so it's like now that this person has awakened they're protecting you it's what i'm getting they're protecting you with their energy because they've awakened they're doing the shadow work or something like that they're gaining wisdom they have clarity or something. And so whoever this karmic masculine is that's been trying to ruin your life, I feel like they're just going to have to walk away and give up because this masculine is protecting you. So they're getting ready to go through some hard times. Yeah, it's more so what I'm getting now. It makes sense. Yeah. Because I feel like you were protecting this masculine first. You helped them awaken to uh, something in their life, your actual divine counterpart. And now it's their turn to do the same for you. Mm-hmm. So now karma is striking. Both of y'all are awakened. So now karma can hit on both ends for the karmics that y'all have been involved with that keeps attacking you. They're both getting ready to get some karma. You, I feel like you're going to see it play out too, especially if y'all got kids. If you got families with these people. Yeah, they're getting ready to fucking feel God's wrath. Okay, because what's power couple here? Let's see. The strength card and the judgment. Yeah, a resurrection, it, it, an awakening, uh, a second chance, forgiveness. Or this could be you just needing to forgive your past so that way um, you can go into a power couple dynamic, whether it be twin flame or not. But I'm definitely getting an awakening and a decisive decision being made. Okay, or are you being decisive about, about making certain decisions? Okay. But this is you overcoming challenges here. There's karmic lessons that has been learned on both ends. A very strong dynamic. Okay, what's the judgment? Spirit is saying yes. And you know what's crazy too? I didn't say anything, but um, before I turn my camera on, coming out of Virgo's reading, my um, Anubis, the heart came off of here. I still ain't put it on right, but it just came, it fell off. Okay, it was like that. And to me, that just symbolizes that somebody here has a good heart with the feather being on the scale. Okay, somebody does have a good heart. I feel like too, they, somebody here could be getting ready to pass away though, for some of you. Because this feather is, somebody's heart is light as a feather. They have good intentions. These other people here, they're getting ready to, they're getting ready to fall apart. Just period. It's like, I don't, they did some fucked up shit here to you and your person. And I feel like they ass is getting ready to be moved out of the way. I need to figure out how to put this back on. Which way is it supposed to go? Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Whoever this is, this heart is heavy and is our way in this feather. Then somebody got a lot of, they got some shit to do. <laughs> they getting ready to fucking be judge this judgment day so i don't know but anyways what's uh what's the judgment spirit the magician what's the judge yeah uh, somebody's awakening to their psychic abilities yeah the tower the five of wands and the four of wands what's the judgment here with the magician spirit virgo gemini the hangman yeah the hierophant in the world very nice yeah somebody is stepping into a leadership role here this could be a uh, psychic development as well somebody's going through some sort of awakening a major one this is a major ascension taurus here we got any fixed sign taurus leo scorpio aquarius pisces virgo gemini could be significant yeah somebody's psychic abilities are increasing like it's it's crazy the awakening that somebody is going through in order to step into a leadership position so that way they can be in this union with you. I feel like that's exactly what's happening. Yeah, it for sure is. The high priestess, two of wands, nine of wands. Yeah, and the empress and the six of swords. You're really close to something. You're close to getting something here, Uh, Sagittarius. Empress, this is you. This is you being close to receiving something. It's something you're ready to come in. You're at the last, whatever this last thing is. I don't know. Some sort of lesson has been learned here. And somebody, this is a good judgment for somebody. A very good judgment for someone. Somebody here has led with integrity. 
you know, they don't have bad intentions at all. This is nice. So yeah, I feel like a commitment is coming through. Yeah, what's the strength card? Let's see. What's the strength? Yeah, six of swords. So being spiritually guided. Somebody's connecting more to their ancestors, their guides. Like somebody is really making moves. Yeah, king of wands, the sun. So strong Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Taurus moon. Somebody could be a Leo, Virgo, Cusper. Hmm. Yeah, so this is like moving forward here, um, being guided, moving towards peaceful and calmer waters or things calming down. Yeah, this journey has been challenging, child, but somebody's coming for some of you. This could be like uh, somebody relocating or traveling to come towards you. Like they're coming, they're getting closer to you. Whatever this is, honey. Or because you've forgiven your past, you're going into some union, okay? Soulmate, twin flame, whatever. What's the Fuego card? Yeah, look, returning. Exactly. Three of Wands in reverse. <laughs> That's returning travel. Something is coming back. I'm telling you. Uh, what's Fuego with the Three of Wands in reverse? Yeah, the tower in reverse. Yeah, because somebody was able to avoid a tower. And I'm also getting to, this is inevitable. Somebody can have a lot of Aries in their chart. <clears throat> okay, whatever this is right here, it's inevitable. Somebody returning is just going to happen to regardless. So, I mean, you're going to have to like deal with it. I mean, you don't have to be with this person. That's on you. But honey, I don't know. If you know better, you choose your person. <laughs> like I, I feel like that's it's, it's destined. It's meant to be. Yeah, justice with the two of cups and this connection is highly protected. And twin flames, they don't mean to hurt you. They don't mean to do certain things. They mean to tr uh, trigger you so that way you can heal. And they're doing the same thing. So I, I don't know, guys. I wouldn't. I don't know. Mm, but not everybody has twins. Only you know if you do have one. Okay. Like I don't want to hear people in the comments like, oh, I would never take back the past. That's fine. Don't. Because nine times out of ten, they're karmic. You won't feel that way about a twin. There's just no way you can. So move on. But let's see. What's the three of wands in reverse? Yep, two of cups. Oh, this is so nice. I told you somebody coming back. Yeah, ace of swords, ace of cups. Some of y'all, this is new. Others of you, this is your renewed offer from your person. They're coming. They're coming. I'm telling you. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know what to say. Damn. Yep. This is nice. <laughs> What's the tower in reverse? The four of swords. The Knight of Swords in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse. A lot of air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <laughs> Libra, Moon. Libra, Jupiter. Gemini. <laughs> yeah, I feel like... This could be in an up and coming weeks too. For some of you, three days from now. But this could be happening within weeks. Okay, this, this person. Um... Right now, yeah, the Empress, <laughs> King of Wands is something to a Wands. Let me see something. What's uh, what's this Knight of Swords in Reverse Spirit? I'm getting a lot of messages. I'm trying to Two of Wands. What's the Knight of Swords in Reverse with the Two of Wands? Okay, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. So this could be a sudden arrival for some of you. Okay, with this Knight of Swords in reverse. I feel like somebody right now, they could be not feeling too confident. Okay, like right now they're trying to get it together. Okay, they could still be resting or something like that. But the Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this too is just an attack. Okay, that's for some of you. They, well, most of you anyways. Two of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. This is a partnership coming through. You building this legacy with this person. This is that power couple energy for sure. So there's like an attack or somebody's trying to bully somebody. This Knight of Swords in Reverse could talk about like uh, somebody that has some sort of inferiority complex. This could also talk about too someone that feels like you're way out of their league. But with them awakening, especially if this is a twin, they're not going to feel like that if... I don't know. I don't think that they're... They could, though, because they feel like they done fucked up already. So they're trying to figure out what to do and how to do things with you. But I feel like that's just an attack. 
to make you think that you're way out of this person's lead or you know vice versa but you're not that's your match so you just <clears throat> excuse me need to be careful yeah let me see what's the two of swords listen to a certain universe something has been revealed a clear decision has been made so this could just talk about somebody else's ass they're in fucking um yeah five of cups this is them that is um in some sort of mental and emotional turmoil what's the two of swords in reverse yeah the queen of cups what's the two of swords in reverse yeah okay yeah and the nine of pentacles could be a cancer here a virgo who this queen of cups yeah nine of swords this could be somebody baby mama baby daddy or whatever the fuck that's a gold digger a loser <laughs> okay this person is very codependent but they try to come off like they're not or because then we have um yeah the king of cups is in reverse to the queen of cups upright so yeah for some of you divine feminines that could be your actual karmic masculine that's like that this person is tripping <laughs> they tripping out now because something is coming and that's just what it is they're gonna have to let you go this person is very codependent on your energy just period they're a gold digger they're a loser um you guys would be saying 999 yeah it's like you're clear about something somebody is like really or this is you making a clear decision about something. What's the nine of swords? What is somebody nervous? What? Yeah, somebody from your past. For some of you, this could be a person that's nervous too. Okay, but I feel like this is somebody that you could have kids with or something. Yeah, you can have kids with this person. This person is nervous because they don't they don't have you anymore to like get supply from. Like I said, what's this not a pentacles in reverse? This person is like really yeah, Knight of Cups. Yeah, they want to date you. Somebody wants to date you, but this person is like they're not healthy. They need to grow up. Wow. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. <laughs> this is a lot of abundance coming through, Sagittarius. Some of y'all getting ready to not be single. Okay, you're getting ready to be in a relationship for sure. <laughs> like, it's, it's coming. What's the Four of Swords? The Seven of Wands, exactly. What's the Four of Swords, Seven of Wands? Yeah, and the Ace of Pentacles, brand new offer or renewed. It said renewed, switch up, reintroduction, acting brand new, new persona, period. And somebody is coming in new and changed is what it looks like. Yeah, and there's protection here. Somebody's like setting boundaries or standing up for what they believe in. They're fighting back for this connection. And it's coming in. Whatever this new, this renewed offer is or whatever, it's coming. For sure, Saggy. So, I don't know. Get prepared. <laughs> it's time to cleanse. Go watch uh, Virgo's reading. It says something about cleansing your space and uh, whatever. Some of y'all have an offer coming through. There could be a decision that you're trying to make, too, about who you should be dating. And I feel like you're just, there's something that keeps repeating about your dating life. And you're just like, I feel like you're going to end up surrendering it. Because at the end of the day, your heart lies with somebody. And you can't help who you love here, especially if you're twins. Like, it's just never, it's never going anywhere. And twin flames are God-ordained relationships. They are. And I feel like y'all are meant to be together. And the only reason why twins don't make it, like I tell everybody, is because people are just choosing to not do their shadow work. They don't want to fight for it. They don't want to fight for themselves. So they get stuck. And it just depends on a person. You and this person look like y'all are very resilient. Okay. You're very resilient. You're very strong. So ain't no giving up here on yourselves. And the reason, and because you've done that, you're going to get this union. That's meant to be any damn way. It's inevitable. <laughs> Whatever this is. Okay, like, seriously. Mm. Somebody here could be going bankrupt too. They're losing some money or a home, a car. Because they've been trying to, like, take this offer or do something to you. Yeah, hemp, expansion. Bottom of the deck is water, cleansing. 
Yeah, Sawin, Death. Yeah, Squanhe Mirror, Shadow, exactly. Coriander, Immortality, Book of Shadows, Secrets, Chocolate, Aphrodisiac, and Bulk, yeah, Awakening. Yeah, you've done some sort of shadow work here. You put a death or an ending to something. Scrying mirror too. I feel like somebody has been doing like mirror magic or they've been doing something to um cause an ending. Because it's something that wasn't maybe healed within you. That this person was still able to see that, okay, yeah, I can still attack that part of them. That'll keep them stuck. It's something like that. Somebody did something real fucked up. And now they're getting ready to feel God's wrath. So have fun, bitch. <laughs> have fun, you fucking loser. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Okay, hemp. It says, expand the mind and take it high. Plant medicine will help you fly. My products are so good for you, not just for hippies, but witches too. <laughs> this magic is work with harm to none. So mote it be. There it is done. Somebody here could smoke a lot of weed here. Somebody could be uh studying like herbalism or something like that. Somebody could be trying to start a weed business or something, but it's too, it's something natural to help people heal. And then weed does. Weed comes from the earth. It's just now they got this shit all fucked up now in the, you know, um, in the world. Like they put all this stuff on it that it got people messed up. That could be what someone's business is. Someone is going to start a weed business or something or open up a weed shop or do something. Or they're going to grow their own. Yeah, they can grow their own. And I don't know. Very nice, though. If somebody like weed that much, then yeah, start a business. <laughs> okay, so it says, you've been courting controversy, although what you're standing for is right. If only others could see the point you are making. Thinking outside of the box or looking at the bigger picture is the only way forward. Although looking at a situation from another, from another's point of view, I mean, from another's viewpoint, will help you understand the approach and attitude of others at this time. My good reputation is often disputed, even though I've been used for textiles and rope for thousands of years. Nowadays, my flowers and seeds are used in health foods, organic body care, and other nutraceuticals. And I'm loved by vegans for my natural protein benefits and essential fatty acids. Time to keep an open mind when I appear. Although my THC levels will not affect you like my cousin cannabis. Mm, okay, so hemp. Oh, child, I don't, look, I don't even smoke weed no more, so I really don't know. But I see weed here. It's a different kind of weed then, obviously. Although my THC levels will not affect you like my cousin cannabis, my family holds the secret of the universe to expand your consciousness. Ooh. Wow. Somebody got a brilliant idea about something involving weed. Or this hemp, whatever this is. It say hemp oil, hemp lip balm on this thing. Somebody could be making skincare products or something. This is on somebody's like a uh, bloodline here with the Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords in reverse. Somebody feels like they don't, they don't, it's not going to happen for them though, or whatever. This is on somebody's bloodline. Somebody from a past life was doing this in someone's family, whatever they were doing. I don't even know how to explain whatever this is. <laughs> I don't know. But your person could smoke a lot of weed <laughs> or something, or you can, or whatever. My family holds the secrets of the universe to expand your consciousness. Or this is just the family of weed, family of cannabis or something. I don't know. Somebody help me explain it in the comments. For those of you that smoke, you know more about this shit than I do. Because I don't know. But it says recommended recipe. Energy bar for hormone balance, skin, hair, and nails. Yeah. Collect one cup of hemp seeds with two cups of soft dates, one cup of walnuts, a half a cup of raw keiko powder, and one half teaspoon of sea salt. You can add any of your favorite spices or herbs. Mix in a food processor and make a manageable dough. Put the dough into a baking tray and freeze for two hours. Cut and serve. Keep refrigerated. Hmm. Wow. It says hemp revealed. Okay, it says hemp is one of the first plants domesticated by humans. Okay. Oh, Buddha survived in a while eating only hemp seeds. Herodotus... Herodotus spoke of inhabitants of Scythia or Scythia inhaling hemp seed smoke for ritual and per personal recreation. It is said that George Washington smoked hemp and used it to treat his chronic toothaches. Very interesting. And this is a herb. Yeah, that's very interesting here. I don't know what y'all got going on, but this could be something that you're getting ready to work on. There's a new opportunity with that. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. We can find it. I don't know, child. But very interesting. So this is your reading, Saji. I hope that this resonated. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.